Have you ever found yourself lying in bed at 3 a.m., wondering how to gather the strength for another day? Many of us have experienced those moments when life feels like an endless storm and all you crave is a guiding light. You're not alone, and that's where Stoicism can make a difference. A heartfelt thank you to our community, as we've now surpassed 5,000 subscribers. It's not just a number, it's a symbol of numerous souls seeking wisdom, resilience, and a way forward during challenging times. If you're new here or haven't subscribed yet, hit that notification bell and subscribe. Why? Because we're about to delve into eight Stoic lessons capable of transforming those challenging days into stepping stones. For those genuinely seeking the strength to persevere through the toughest days, Here's my challenge to you. Watch this video until the very end. Demonstrate to yourself that you're truly committed to moving forward, even when facing adversity. Are you up for it? Let's kick things off. Number one, practice gratitude. In the midst of our daily struggles and hectic routines, it's incredibly easy to fixate on what we lack, the missed chances, unfulfilled desires and seemingly insurmountable challenges. Yet, there's a straightforward practice that has the power to shift our perspective, even on the gloomiest days. Gratitude. Taking a moment to recognize the positives in our lives not only brings contentment, but also establishes a resilient foundation to face life's storms. Seneca, a renowned Stoic philosopher, beautifully expressed, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This insight reminds us that joy doesn't stem from an incessant desire for more, but from appreciating what we already possess. Whether it's the warmth of a friend's smile, the comfort of a home, or the simple pleasure of a cup of tea, there's always something to be thankful for. In that cup of tea, you might savor the memories of shared laughter with loved ones or find solace it provided on a cold, lonely night. By acknowledging these moments and holding on to them, we nurture a mindset that spots the silver lining in every cloud. Gratitude, however, isn't solely about recognizing the good times. It's also about discovering grace in our struggles. Each challenge we face becomes an opportunity to grow, learn, and emerge stronger. So, when the going gets tough, take a moment to pause and find something, no matter how small, to be grateful for. This practice may not alter the situation, but it will transform how you approach it, and often, that shift makes all the difference. Number two, practice patience. Have you ever observed a flower unfolding its petals as it blooms? It doesn't rush, taking its time to reveal its splendor petal by petal, embracing its own perfect moment. Much like the flower, our lives follow a rhythm, a pace where things are meant to unfold. Just as the flower doesn't hasten its bloom, we too must grasp the art of patience. Think about those times when you held a loved one's hand in silence. Wasn't the unspoken bond felt more deeply than words could convey? Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic Emperor, once reflected, Time is a river, a violent current of events glimpsed once and already carried past us, and another follows and is gone. This profound insight reminds us that time, with its relentless flow, brings both challenges and triumphs. Our impatience often arises from a desire to control this flow, to hasten the good and avoid the bad. Yet true strength lies in understanding that we cannot command the river of time, but we can choose how we navigate its waters. Patience isn't just about waiting, it's about waiting with purpose. It's understanding that every moment holds significance, even if it's not immediately apparent. When we practice patience, we're not merely passing the time. We're actively preparing, growing, and evolving. So, when the right moment arrives, we are ready to embrace it fully. The next time impatience creeps in, 
Recall the blooming flower and the flowing river. Recognize that your moment will come, and when it does, it will be worth the wait. Number three, embrace the present moment. Life has a way of throwing unexpected challenges at us. Sometimes it feels like we're juggling a million things, carrying the weight of the world on our shoulders. Remember those moments when a looming deadline or recent heartbreak felt overwhelming? Here's a secret. The power to overcome these challenges lies in the present moment. It's easy to get lost in worries about tomorrow or regrets from yesterday. However, the only moment we truly control is the one happening right now. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and influential Stoic philosopher, once said, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This quote isn't just a fancy phrase, it's a call to action. It reminds us that even if we can't control external events, we can control how we react. By focusing on the present, we can make choices aligning with our values, finding peace amid chaos. So the next time you feel overwhelmed, take a deep breath and ground yourself in the present. Feel the air, listen to the sounds and remind yourself that this moment, right here and now, is where your power lies. Embracing the present means not just surviving tough days, but thriving in them. With each passing moment, you're building resilience, wisdom, and strength for whatever comes next. Number four, cultivate inner strength. Embarking on life's journey is akin to sailing across vast and unpredictable seas. Some days offer tranquility, while others bring forth fierce storms that test the very essence of who we are. It's in the midst of these tempests that our inner strength emerges as the most precious asset. This strength isn't about sheer physical might. It embodies the resilience of the spirit, the fortitude of the mind, and the courage of the heart. It's that subtle voice amidst chaos, encouraging us to hold on just a bit longer. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher of great renown, once declared, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. These words stand as a guiding light, emphasizing that our responses, shaped by our inner strength, carve the path of our journey. External events, no matter how formidable, wield power over us only if we grant them such authority. Nurturing a robust inner self allows us to face adversity with grace, transforming obstacles into stepping stones for personal growth. Constructing this inner strength demands consistent effort, daily choices, small acts of courage, and the willingness to view challenges as opportunities for development. It involves the pursuit of wisdom, learning from experiences, and recognizing that every setback holds a hidden lesson. As we tend to this strength within, we not only equip ourselves to navigate life's storms, but also set sail towards horizons we once deemed unreachable. A fulfilling life is not determined by the absence of challenges, but by the capacity to rise above them with an unwavering inner strength. Number five, seek wisdom. Wisdom isn't a rare gift exclusively granted to a select few. Rather, it's a hidden treasure waiting to be discovered by those with the courage and determination to seek it out, even if it's right in front of them. Your journey into these lessons reflects your sincere pursuit of wisdom, showcasing commendable commitment and signaling that you're on the right track. Echoing the words of the ancient Stoic philosopher Seneca, who remarked, As long as you live, keep learning how to live. This isn't just an encouragement to accumulate knowledge, but an urging to explore deeper understanding, to question, reflect, and evolve. Genuine wisdom isn't about having all the answers. It's about posing the right questions and embracing the humility to learn from both triumphs and setbacks. Actively pursuing wisdom demands an open heart and a curious mind. It entails listening more than speaking, observing more than showcasing, and recognizing that every person you encounter 
and every experience you undergo holds a valuable lesson. Wisdom isn't a final destination. It's an ongoing journey, a journey that enriches the soul, owns the mind, and widens the horizon. As you persist on this path, savor each step, every insight, and every revelation. In the pursuit of wisdom, the journey itself stands as the greatest reward. Number six, cultivate compassion. Have you ever taken a moment to ponder the battles others might be silently fighting, concealed behind their smiles or in their quiet gazes? Our individual journeys through life are distinctive, filled with unique challenges and joys. Yet, amidst personal struggles, there lies a remarkable opportunity, a golden thread capable of weaving us closer to others. The act of compassion. In the words of Marcus Aurelius, what injures the hive injures the bee. This seemingly simple statement carries profound depth. When we extend kindness, understanding and empathy towards others, we're not merely assisting them, we're nurturing the collective human spirit. Compassion goes beyond feeling pity or sorrow for someone's misfortunes. It involves understanding their pain as if it were our own and taking steps, no matter how small, to alleviate it. Cultivating compassion demands a conscious effort, listening more than speaking, feeling more than judging, and acting more than merely observing. In a world that often feels divided, compassion serves as a bridge, connecting hearts and mending wounds. By embracing this virtue, we not only uplift others, but also discover a deeper sense of purpose and fulfillment in our own lives. In the grand tapestry of existence, our threads are interwoven, and when we choose compassion, we opt for a richer, more harmonious, and genius design for all. Number seven, learn from adversity. Imagine a blacksmith crafting a blade, the raw unshaped metal subjected to intense heat and forceful hammering. With each strike, it becomes sharper, stronger, more refined. Similarly, life's adversities, though appearing harsh and unyielding, possess the potential to shape us, refine our character, and mold us into improved versions of ourselves. Seneca, an ancient Stoic philosopher, once proclaimed, difficulties strengthen the mind as labor does the body. Despite being centuries old, these words resonate with timeless truth. Challenges, setbacks and hardships aren't mere obstacles. They are opportunities. Opportunities to grow, learn and discover strengths we never knew we possessed. Every trial we face is a disguised lesson waiting to be unraveled. Embracing adversity doesn't mean seeking out hardships or reveling in pain. It involves recognizing the inherent value in our struggles, shifting our perspective from viewing challenges as burdens to seeing them as stepping stones towards wisdom and growth. So, when you find yourself amidst life's fiery trials, remember the blacksmith and his blade. Understand that with the right mindset, adversity can be the very force that shapes you into a masterpiece. Number eight, understand what is within your control. Life resembles a stormy night, thunder rumbling, lightning striking, and the wind howling, attempting to knock you off your feet. You can't command the storm to stop, nor can you dictate the path of the lightning. However, you can choose to light a candle, seek shelter, and hold tight to what keeps you grounded. It's not about controlling the storm, but understanding what's within your grasp and what isn't. Epictetus, a Stoic thinker from a distant time, whispered a truth that still echoes today. We cannot choose our external circumstances, but we can always choose how we respond to them. It's a simple yet profound realization. We often waste energy fretting over things beyond our reach, things we can't change, no matter how hard we try. But what if instead, we focused on what we can influence, our reactions, emotions, and decisions. These are the candles we can light against the darkness. So, when life's tempests rage, remember this, you have the power to choose. 
You can't halt the rain or silence the thunder, but you can decide how you'll dance in the rain or whether you'll cower from the noise. Recognizing what's within your control is liberating. The first step not just toward enduring life storms, but thriving amidst them. As the dawn breaks, you'll discover that the storm wasn't the story. It was how you chose to face it. These eight stoic lessons serve as a powerful arsenal to strengthen your resilience, maintain serenity, and foster determination during challenging times. Embracing these teachings consistently equips you to lead a virtuous and content life, even amid the chaos and unpredictability of the world. However, don't just take my word for it. Put these lessons into practice and witness the transformative results. Stay tuned so you don't miss out. If you found this video valuable, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. If you're new here, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more lessons on ancient wisdom. Doing so not only supports us, but also helps us reach more individuals seeking ancient wisdom. Thank you very much for watching and see you in our next video. To explore more stoic oars that will appear on your screen now. Until next time, stay strong, stay stoic, and let the stoic winds transform your life.